On Friday the 16th of June 1989, it's Nigel at Rice Lit Golf Club. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's quite short. Bear in mind though that all these lights are 300 watts, so you're running 2400 altogether. Oh, yes, yes. Twelve. Twelve. Thank you very much. I'm just doing some uh, ad hocs in the beginning.
from the unmistakable sound of Take the A Train, Duke Ellington's signature tune, composed of course by Billy Strayhorn. But we'd like to go a little bit further back to the beginning of the swing era. The swing era officially started in 1937 at the Pol Palomar Ballroom, and this was the sound that launched the swing era.
Betty Goodman sings a tune, let's, let's dance. And the clarinet there of the great Big Long. Well, there were, many, there were many swing bands, but the one which uh, many people remember with great affection is that led by the sentimental gentleman of swing, Mr. Tommy Dorsey. We'd like to give you Mark Nightingale's own arrangement of Tommy Dorsey's signature tune. It's called I'm Getting Sentimental Over You. Very, very, Mars, very, very toppy, this extraordinary toppy. <coughs> That's my sound. <laughs>
Mark Nightingale there on trombone. We like now to, that was actually just one facet of the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. Of course, Tommy Dorsey didn't only play that sort of music. He also played music which was much, much more swing-oriented than that. This is a composition by Cy Oliver. It's entitled Opus One. <laughs> Request on from the, from the back there, we had a whole pile of them. Uh, this is a tune written, in fact, by Cole Porter, which uh, gave great success for the clarinet of Artie Shaw, and it's called When They Begin the Begin. No one's going to be like. No, you didn't test this. Yeah? One.
Andy Dean, the clarinet, Pete Long on on tennis saxophone, all the way from Clitheroe in Lancashire, Ian Dixon. Yes. I have you know that my mother was the May Queen of Clitheroe in 1916, I think it was, or no, a bit later than that, 1816, I think it was. Um, we'd like to go on now and feature a couple of tunes associated with the late, great Woody Herman. The first one, the Woody Herman band started very much as a swing band, as you probably know. It started in 1930s, in fact. We've got an early arrangement of his called um, um, Blues on Parade, which we're not playing this evening, which actually dates from about 1937. This one was a bit later than that, but it's still very much in the swing era um, idiom. It's entitled Apple Honey. sound of the Woody Herman band, but something happened to change that sound. A person called Gene Rowland, who actually played tenor himself and flugelhorn, devised the sound of three tenors and baritone. But he wasn't the one that wrote the tune that made that sound famous. That was written by Jimmy Dufry. And the famous band, the Four Brothers Band, was in fact um, Stan Getz, Suit Sims, I think, Herbie Stewart, Drew Moore, people like that, so it's Chaloff. Anyway, we're going to play for you now the tune that made the Woody Herman band known as the band of the Four Brothers, the original Four Brothers. I think we're not the original. Three and a half brothers. Stand it up. Yeah. What?
Thanks for being there. The Thorpe Brothers, and they are reading from left to right. From Peterborough there, Adrian Ravel. Yeah. From Clitheroe, Ian Dixon. Yeah. From Bognor Regis, Clive Hitchcock. From Tunbridge Wells, Scott Garland. And on clarionet from Croydon, Peter Long. Trench. Well, we'd like to slow the pace down and play for you a very, very beautiful ballad written by James V. Monaco, no less. This was made one made famous by the, the trumpet of Harry James, which is the very trumpet he's playing this evening by Chorus Coincidence. This very this is the very one. Ladies and gentlemen, from Conisborough. Near Doncaster, will you welcome please your very own Mr. Mark White? Some of you cropped up on 
drums of a great many of the big bands, of course, was the late, great Buddy Rich. And of course, latterly, he had his own big band. We're going to play for you now a tune that I think that he and the band seem to enjoy playing the most. The people, one that people asked for was always Norwegian wood, but he hated playing it and we haven't bothered to bring it. So what we're going to play for you instead is a very fine arrangement indeed by Pete Myers of another Cole Porter tune. This one was banned by the BBC for a very long time because of the content of the lyrics. However, today it is being played instrumentally, Love for Sale. Thank you. 
Bruno, I'd love to see you. And so is on that one. On the saxophone, Pete Long. On tenor saxophone, Ian Dixon. On trumpet there, Gerard, the centre. And at the drums, Mr. Chris Dagley. Thank you very much. Well, we had a lot of requests for this next one. Funnily enough, we had very few um, requests for early Stan Kenton arrangements. This is one which was recorded quite late on in his career. It was arranged by Dave Bardoon, composition by Stephen Sondheim, entitled Send in the Clowns. <laughs>
very much indeed. They're sending the clowns at the piano there, all the way for your listening pleasure from Royce Lip, Clive Dunstall, Clive Dunstall there, and on lead trumpet, Mark White. Sending the clowns. Well, we've gone all this way without playing anything at all from the repertoire of the Camp Basie Orchestra. We're going to play for you uh, one of the most famous of all the Camp Basie charts, which was written for the, originally for the Atomic Mr. Basie record by Neil Hefty. This one is a blues in grand old key of D flat. It's entitled Splanky. Was it B flat? I mean, no, it's B flat, isn't it? There we are, even easier. There we are, Splanky. indeed there for Swanky, Dennis Axel and there, Ian Dixon at the piano once again, Clive Dunstall. We'd like to bring to the front microphone now young trumpet player Gerard Presenza, comes from Bushy in Hertfordshire. He's going to play another composition originally featured by the Camp Basie Orchestra. We got this particular chart from a very good friend of ours, Shorty Rogers. He did an LP called Shorty Quartz the Count. This was Shorty's own personal favourite, I think of virtually the entire repertoire that we played. So a Basie tune entitled Topsy, and uh, Gerard, a young Gerard presenter, is going to come down and take the Shorty Rogers roll with a plunger muted trumpet on the front microphone. <laughs> Gerard, he's looking for his plunger. I bought you one for Christmas, Gerard. Come on, yeah, I'll send you. Uh, thank you. 
how we've managed to get through virtually an hour of big band music without playing a single Glenn Miller number. Well, the only one we were requested out of all the numbers we might have done was one which is perhaps one of the less uh, well-known ones, or the less common ones, it's not exactly unknown. It's one, I don't know who wrote it, but it's entitled Caribbean Clipper. 
asked for um, on the repertoire thing, so, well in fact before you even got the repertoire up, was uh, to, to end as we more or less began with a composition from the repertoire of the Benny Goodman Orchestra. This particular piece was written by a trumpet player called Louis Prima. Uh, it's a feature for our drummer Mr Christopher Dagley and it's entitled Sing, Sing, Sing.
Mr. Clive Hitchcock at the drums, Chris Dagley, sing, sing, sing with a swing. Thank you very much. Well, that's all I'm going to play for you of this particular era of music. As you saw from the programme, it's the great big bands and beyond. In the second half, we'll be playing special requests from you from our own repertoire. So far, people have asked to hear us play Going Dutch, Aardvark, um, Furelies, and He's Got Rhythm. I'll put the list back at the back. If there's anything else you'd like to hear us play, do write it down. Don't forget that we're actually playing here again on Sunday, not this particular music, but our own music. Um, we're at Kenwood next Sunday, playing this particular music, or some of it, um, as part of a, the V Kenwood Jazz uh, Concert, which is with the Midnight Follies. Uh, that's next Sunday the 25th. You can hear all this on the grass, on a blanket. We're going to have a break now. We'll see you all in about... 20, 25, well, about half past nine. See you then. Thank you very much. Thank you. 